Hi guys! Welcome to this new video. Today, I'll be showing you a new nest that I received this week. I'm really excited to show it to you guys, as I think it might be one of my favorite nests ever. Recently, I've been chatting to Bob on Instagram. Bob recently opened his online shop where he sells woods ant nests and a few ant colonies. At the moment, there are four models of nests available, but more will be added over time. His company is based in Germany, where he makes the nests himself using high quality materials. Before we go any further, I just want to point out that I have not been paid to promote Bob's work. Anyways, at the beginning of the week, I received a parcel containing one of Bob's creations. I decided to film the unboxing so that I could show you guys what you'll get for your money if you decide to become one of Bob's clients. Let's get to it, shall we? The packaging was nicely done and the contents well protected. The gummy bears were a really nice touch that pleased my inner child. I also love the pine cones and acorns as decoration. It goes really well with the natural wood nest vibe. And here it is, the newest addition to my collection of nests. First thing I will say is that this nest is probably the most beautiful nest I've ever seen. To me there is just something special about wood. I mean, I might be slightly biased because I love working with wood, but still, you can't deny this nest is stunning. The building quality is excellent and it feels very well put together. The nest is covered with good quality acrylic glass, allowing great visibility of what's going on inside the nest. The only thing I could say about this nest is that there's only a single access hole. But it's a small detail, and as more nests become available, I'm sure this issue won't be one for long. Wood nests aren't suitable for all species, and Bob will be able to tell you more about that. You can't water those nests, so they're only suitable for species that live in woods naturally, such as Temnothorax, Crematogaster, and some Camponutus species. I'm planning on moving one of my Carpenterans colonies in this nest. It will probably be my Camponutus vagus colony. I have recently moved them out of the test tube into a small white on nest that I made some time ago. The test tube was becoming too small and they had started claiming some of the foraging area as nesting space. When the colony overgrows the small white tongue nest, I will connect Bob's wood nest to the setup. I can't wait, I'm sure they will move in no time. What do you guys think of this nest? Personally, I love it and I sure will be Bob's customer again. Before you leave, here is a coupon code that will get you 15% off all of Bob's nest. I will put it in the description of the video, alongside the link to the website. Thanks for watching this video, and see you in two weeks for the next one. Thank you for being an enthusiast.